We are Jaeger, uh, Max, um, Johannes, and um, Jake, and we, we us, us four, we basically design, and Johannes is the whiz who can, uh, who's, who's made the stuff inside the box. Um, inside the box is an axolotl. I don't know if you've heard of it, um, and we've used piezo discs to pick up the mechanical vibration to send it to this little mini computer. Uh, which holds the samples, uh, which when we press it, will play them through the speaker, hopefully. Um, so we'll, we'll try it. Yeah, and I guess I'll talk about kind of our inspiration behind making this project. Um, we're a group of designers from Berlin, and design is what we do best, so we spend a lot of time focusing on that. Um, and without Johannes, we would just have a box pretty much, <laughs> um, but a really nice box. Um, and our inspiration was um, we, were, we were jamming out, and we've, we've jammed with a lot of different people. We're playing music all the time in Berlin. <laughs> Excuse me. And we have a lot of friends that are interested in music, but maybe not the best musicians. And we wanted to develop something that they could jam along with us, and also something that maybe a, children, a child could pick up and understand and play around with. So we have three buttons, as you can see, very basic buttons, basic shapes, um, triangle, circle, square. And you're starting to hear some of the, the beats coming from it. Um, so we incorporated some of the most basic percussion beats. Um, because I think they sound good with every jam. We got some bass. You want to get some bass? Let's move on to some snare. Sometimes because of the piezo disc, it kind of picks up the full, the vibration and it gets mixed up. So next time we'd probably use, instead of a piezo disc, um, a trigger, so an on and off switch. Um, but this time, so sometimes you don't really know. It can be, it can be a snare or a bass. But we learned a lot. Yeah, we learned a lot, and um, it's a simple, simple design, I guess. I mean, from the outside and to us, and we're pretty new to the, uh, the tech world, I guess you could say. We're trying to understand more. Um, so we did something based on our understanding, and we wanted everyone else to understand, in, even a child's level. So that's what we made. Awesome. I actually quite like the unpredictability of it. It's kind of, there's something about a piece of art that is transient and you don't know exactly how it's going to come out. So we could go a bit deeper into it and find incredibly pretentious ways in which that is much more fantastic than you're making out. I actually really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, guys.